Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters. I'm Heavy Metal Mama. And I'm Heavy Metal Hobby. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a men's goth fashion haul. It's mainly Killstar, but there's something else, some other stuff in there. But before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and thank you to all of you that already do. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. And welcome. So, it's a men's fashion haul. I know you've been waiting ages for this haul. <laughs> it was it's originally your birthday presents in May. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I've just gone back to, to find all the item names and realised that I actually purchased the order in April. <laughs> you know, and it's October now. But hey, you know, we've given them a thorough, thorough test drive. That's mm. what we've done. We've just been really, really thorough. <laughs> so, very, very thorough. Yeah, very extremely thorough, thorough sir. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely getting a tried and tested review. <laughs> so let's go with the first item. So this is the Blind Mind T-shirt. <laughs> it says the eyes are useless when the mind is blind and it has this huge skull on it. Sort of, hmm. <laughs> it's like a a thoughtful pose. But, uh, pondering. pondering. Pondering, yes, mm. definitely pondering with the Leviathan cross here on the forehead as well. Yeah, it's very cool. Heavy Metal Hubby, your thoughts? Um, really nice shirt, really like it. Um, you know, I've had issues with some Killstar stuff in the past, but the material is really nice, it's really soft. It's actually quite cool in the summer as well, which is odd. Yeah, it's breathable, I suppose, is the best way. Um, really like the design on this, love a skull. N never guess. <laughs> we, um, we definitely like skulls yeah, in this family. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it's a nice contrast, you know, black and white works really well. And I love the uh, the detail on the on the sleeves as well. Yes, oh yes, I forgot about this. Yes, it's got these mm. really cool, I don't know what this is called. Comment down in the description, in, yeah. the, in the comments sure if you know what, what the these are. are. I know yeah. that this is on a, kill, a ring. They have this symbol on a ring in their lady section. And actually, I think they have this one on a ring too, so they might have a proper name. But yes, let us know down in the comments if you know what they are called. But <laughs> yeah, this one is really cool because we had discussed maybe some of the t-shirts cutting off the sleeves to make them the, you know, like sleeveless shirts, vest shirt type things. Um, but this one we were like, no, no, no. Yeah. In the end, we decided not to, you know, but we always can in the future if, if you decide you need yeah. more vests. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a really lovely t-shirt. Heavy Mott Hubby is six foot five. Uh, what is your chest? I don't know. 40, I don't know. He's an extra large. I buy him extra larges in Killstar stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Just about in case it's my boobs. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's six foot five. He's quite broad shouldered. I know my measurements. I don't know his measurements. So. <laughs> yeah, so that is the Blind Mind t shirt. Right, the next one, another t-shirt, there's four t-shirts in total. This is the beauty t-shirt. So this one, it says beauty at the top here. You've got a, a picture of a, I'm assuming it's a pretty lady on the front here, but you only see the back of her head, sat in a very sort of, I quite like it. it's like a very gothic Victoriana sort of dress. But then in the mirror, you can see the skull. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like a Dorian Gray type, you know, set up or what, but uh, it's very cool and it says, Beauty, and then it says it's only skin deep. I, I I took it to mean she was ugly on the inside. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. Or, okay, yeah. yeah. Depends on how you're going to interpret yeah. it, really. Mm -hmm. But yeah, your thoughts again? Uh, well, again, you know, it's it's the same material. Um, you know, it's uh, I, I I like whatever they've made these out of recently. I really like it. It's, it's stretchy. It's breathable. It's it's a nice material. It hasn't faded at all. Which yeah, hundred percent you know, cotton. Yeah, and we have worn the I have worn the bejesus out of them. Yeah, they've um, all got these little kill star tabs. Yeah. At the bottom as well, nice which is a nice little touch actually on yeah. a t-shirt. It just makes it feel a little bit more expensive. Yeah, yeah. I think of of all of them, this is probably my least favourite design. But I still really like it. Mm. Um, it's slightly reminiscent of um, a Machine Head album, yeah. the Blackening. So it's uh, 
you know, it's uh, it's just a cool design. I like the message as well. well. You've worn this a lot over the summer. It's washed very mm. well. None of the prints come off because obviously we had that issue with the hockey shirt that yeah. a lot of the print has come off. And I know some people have said that some of the dresses and stuff that have got this sort of print on that the print has come off. But I mean, this one is one that is a good candidate for it to come off because it's got all these little tiny bits of it here and it hasn't at all. It's it's stayed on beautifully, actually. Yeah, so really good. Yeah, very impressed with the with the quality of this one. So that is the beauty t-shirt. The next one, this is the Crypt t-shirt. I think of this, you love this one, don't you? I, I love like, he loves shirt. the design so much on this that he's actually considering getting this tattooed somewhere. He really likes it that much, which I, I'll just put that there for you. It's it's a really, really cool design. This one, it's been, well, he's it's just straight out the wash. It's still wet because he, <laughs> he loves it that much that I, I, I'm not putting them in the tumble dryer because that's, no, no, I don't tumble dry any Kill Star stuff. It's just not worth it. So yeah, and this has got the the red print on. Again, I'm very impressed with the print actually because you know I'd heard a lot of bad things and we've had the experience with the hockey shirt, which I will link the video up there if you want to uh, to see what happened to Heavy Metal Hubby's Rob Zombie hockey shirt. But um, yeah, it, it's really, really cool design. Like the skulls at the bottom with all the red and the, the, the blood and the, you know, it's just, <laughs> it's so us, isn't it, you know? Beastie, lots of eyes, mm. lots of skulls, lots like of blood, monster. black and red and white, which is our colours. You know, we are actually sporting the, the, the black and red theme today. <laughs> 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 but no, this is a really cool shirt as well. I mean, same, same, extra large, same thing. It's, it's I mean, these all came out at about the same time, didn't they? They were fairly new when, mm. when we got them. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm very impressed. I, I just, I really like the fact he's got all these different eyes. We were discussing the, how cool this was and then I was like, oh, I really want a Kraken tattoo and that kind of thing. So yeah, it's really cool. I like the way that this isn't white. It's like a greyish, isn't it? Mm. Really, really like it. It's a very, very cool design. That mm -hmm. is the Killstar Crypt t-shirt. And the last t-shirt that we have here, this is the Killstar Ninth Gate. This one is similar, same, same, but different from that one. So we've got another beastie on the front. This is a slightly darker gray and a slightly less vibrant red as well, isn't it? Yeah, not quite um, right. But I re again, really like this. It's got a bit more difficult to see, but it's got this really cool beast with the, the pentagram etched into the chest and more skulls and yeah, slightly different text here. And I like the fact it's got all these skulls here above the bit that says Killstar as well, which is really cool. Mm. Um, again, this is an extra large. It's got the little thingy on the bottom. I mean, you've been, they've they have all done you really well, haven't they, over the summer? They're really, yeah. really comfortable. They've washed really well. I mean, it's been a, basically a constant cycle of me washing these four T-shirts because, <laughs> the, and the, the, your cut-off, basically all your Keelstar T-shirts, you've just worn them to death over this summer, haven't you? Yeah. I think that, I know people ditch on Keelstar a lot and a lot of the things, their quality has gone downhill. I mean, got that um, shirt in my last Keelstar haul, which you can watch up there. I mean, not impressed with that, but very impressed with Kate's Clothing's uh, customer service on that. But yeah, not not so impressed with the quality on that. But I must say that the men's t-shirts, the quality has been absolutely phenomenal, hasn't it? Well, they're just they don't they don't st you know sometimes when you hang them up and they make you know they get they stretch funny or you draw mm -hmm. on the line or, and you or get they marks. start to twist round one way, don't yeah, they? Yeah, Where yeah, yeah. I find some of my cheaper t-shirts they start to twist to the right, which I think is I'm assuming it's the way that they've been sewn. So they've been sewn right-handed, and so they just twist slightly um, but you haven't had that at all with any of these they've washed beautifully I mean obviously we, ha we haven't tumble dried any of them I wouldn't advise tumble drying anything from Killstar but to be honest I mean tumble dry is not really a great way to dry anything is it it's more of an emergency you know? it's not very ecologically friendly. no no and we only really use it as a, an, a, an emergency alternative don't we if yeah. it's like ah I need to wear that thing for this thing I have to wear <laughs> that particular thing and it's wet you know mm. but um 
Uh, and even then we try and dry it out as much as possible and then just chuck it in the tumble dryer for 10 minutes just to get it, get the damp off sort of thing. But no, these have really, really done well. I mean, they look brand new. They look exactly as they did when you bought them and they've been washed at least 20 times, at least 20 times because yeah. you have really, really gone to town on these T-shirts over the summer. Yeah. Because they are they look great, don't they? A lot of your band yeah. T-shirts and stuff, they they the cotton starts to fade and they start to get little holes in them and you know you can definitely tell this is decent quality cotton so i am very impressed with these yeah well if you i mean you compare it to some of my band shirts you know i mean i i, you know, I have a lot of t-shirts yeah. um you know they're the, the the thing that probably impresses me most is that they haven't faded at all yeah they really haven't really faded really kept the color yeah, yeah yeah which is very impressive so mm. yes that is the kill start ninth gate t-shirt Okay, the reason we didn't call this a Killstar haul is because we have one item that's not Killstar. <laughs> this is the Never Be Famous red checkered shirt. Now, you've had this even longer than the Killstar t-shirt. So are those yes. I bought in April, he was given them in May. This we've had since February's London Edge and we keep forgetting uh, that we had it to chuck it in a haul video. So Sorry. we were like, all oh, right, yes, it's time. I've gone on the website, it's not even available on their website anymore. Although I do wonder, I know some of the things that you get as freebies at London Edge, it's because it's like the end of a line, so it's a, a good way of promoting the brand whilst also getting that leftover stock off of shelves. But, I mean, this is, you live in this shirt. It looks great with all of those shirts underneath as well. It looks, it's a really great ensemble, isn't it? Mm. But yeah, this is lovely, bright red. It's it's i mean it's really lovely and h&m have got like a little version of it for in their boys <laughs> section i was so tempted to buy it for devon the other day but it was like 15 quid and i was like he won't wear it enough i might go back for it though i do keep thinking oh, i should have got it for him because <laughs> you do they he, devon really likes to to do matchy matchy outfits with daddy it's adorable <laughs> so you know you're gonna buy it yeah yeah i probably am yeah <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but he's just had a round of clothes, so I'll have to wait a little bit. <laughs> but it's got this really cool, like, dagger through a diamond emblem here, which is really, really cool. I think this is the Never Been Famous, like, logo, because it's, it's never also... Never Famous. No, sorry, Never Be Famous, because it's also on the, um, the back here. Uh, and then on the back, it says family, which... Yeah, you're a bit of a family man, aren't you? So, yeah, yep. yeah. It's it's just perfect for you, really, isn't it? This is a beautiful quality shirt. It's really nicely shaped. Look, it's got ever so slight darts in here, so it's just shaped in a little bit at the back. It's got a really good pocket. The buttons are great, aren't they? It's, it's just a beautifully made shirt. I, I, I love the shirt. He constantly wears it. Like, I'm having to say, like, you've got to put it in the wash. It's, it smells. Can we put it in the flipping wash, please? Or it's got food down it. You can't go out like that. You know? <laughs> there have been a couple of times where he's like, please, can you get it dry? I want to wear it. <laughs> so. well, it's just really versatile. Yeah. It's really nice. Again, it's a really nice material. It's made really well. Um, it, and it's it's just so versatile, you know. Yeah. If you if you want to be really cash with it, you can stick it over a t-shirt, roll the sleeves up, and it's really cash. But it, it's you know. It, but also, you can put a black tie on with it, and it looks lovely yeah. like that too. Which yeah. is a, it's a very versatile shirt. They have got they haven't got any more shirts like this on their website, but they've got some amazing t-shirts. There's that really cool like zombie walking out of the forest one, isn't mm. there? That I can't remember what it's called now, but I'll put a picture of it. Up up here but yeah it's they've got some really cool stuff on their website they're, they're quite different for you know an alternative brand because i think a lot of them get they're all same same aren't they yeah and this is different but i think it's because it's more street wear isn't it than we're used to at london edge it's all goth brands and stuff so it does get a bit same same but yeah it's quite nice for there to be like an alternative men's brand that is just a bit different for mm. For that because um yeah you do like you do really really like this and you it. look really really good in it too so that is the never be famous red checkered shirt
the last item. This is, I think, my favourite of everything. This is the Killstar Deathwish shirt. This thing is cool. Okay, you can't really see. Hang on, let me get a bit closer. So, this is, it's a 95% cotton, 5% elastane shirt. It's got Killstar embroidered in above the, the pocket here, which is a beautiful touch. It's a really nice pocket. Then it's got like epaulettes and this collar, which is made out of PU. So it's, it's bizarre, isn't it? I, I don't know what you'd describe it as. I have a pair of Killstar trousers that are made of this stuff, but I don't know what you'd describe it as. It's, it's not leatherette because it's, it's more like a scuba feel. Yeah, I was going to say it almost feels like neoprene. It's got yeah, that kind of yeah. sort of stretchy feel to it, but yeah. it's really nice. It's really it's really smooth on your skin because of the mm. leggings that I've got. When I when they turned up, I was like, oh, I was not expecting. I mean, these leggings are from a very old collection, and um, they're the ones that lace up the front, but they're like this neoprene -y kind of stuff um but that is really comfortable actually if to be honest if anything it gets a bit hot but it gives it real structure because it's down the front where the butt these poppers are as well so it gives it a real structure and it gives it weight doesn't it as well mm. so that they it just looks neater um it's then got the same detail here on these straps that come off of the epaulettes onto these metal hardware pentagrams which i then i just think they're really cool it is you weren't 100% sure on it, were you, when I first showed you it? It, it? it was these. This is the bit that made me go, I'm not 100% sure. But actually, I think they make it. Because they, they turn it from, it, you know, it's a shirt to, yeah. it's a really cool shirt. It's a bit more of a statement shirt, yeah. you know. It's, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's quite, it's, a, it's another one that's amusing to wear at family weddings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, or the main Christine. reason, yeah, the main reason we haven't done this video before is because you hadn't had much call cool to wear it, had you? I well, think you've worn it what twice, three times. Yeah, um, yeah, three times, that. three yeah. times, yeah. And that's only because since lockdown's been lifted, we were like, right, we're going out, and every time I was like, wear the shirt, because <laughs> <You know? laughs> we need to review it. Wear the shirt, <laughs> you know? but it's washed very well. I mean, it hasn't been ironed. I, I don't iron. I can't be asked. You know, there's more to life than ironing. Um, there's the odd thing of mine that I will iron just because otherwise it just looks like it's been scrunched up on the floor, even though you've done everything in your power to keep it smooth. But this hasn't needed ironing at all. It's literally just been hung up to dry on a hanger. Not this hanger, because these hangers, the fluff comes off if you put wet things on them. But it's, it's yeah, it looks great. It looks great. It's, it's a very impressive shirt. I really like the fact it's poppers as well. You, you find it amusing, don't you, it being poppers? Well, you do feel a bit like a stripper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you just have to be careful not to tell your friends that it's got poppers because then they spend the whole night trying to unpop your shirt yes, yes you know who you are yeah 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 megan yeah. <laughs> yeah but yeah no i really like this shirt i think you look you look very nice in it i i i definitely well, I yeah <laughs> definitely if you're um, from looking on their website, in, from direct from Killstar, it only seems to be available in an extra small or an extra, extra large. Um, this is an extra large, uh, but I have seen it on other websites. So, you know, you might well be able to get it from somewhere mm. else. But I think this is a lovely shirt. Really, really lovely. Yeah. And it's good length on you. Oh, the sleeves are a little bit short on you, aren't they? Everything always is with me. The sleeves are always a bit of a problem because of my height. They're not. They're never quite long enough unless I go for an extra, extra large, mm. and then you know it kind of swamps you. So it's always an issue. They're not any shorter than any other shirt that I have. Um, although I have to say, the never been, never be famous shirt does fit really well. The arms on that are yeah just the right length. But um, one of your Killstar shirts is it the Bloodlust shirt or one of your Killstar shirts that you've had previously though you don't have that problem so i'm wondering whether mm. they made the sleeves longer on some of the older versions and then they yeah, were like possibly. actually yeah. people are moaning that they were too long i don't know i don't know yeah. i mean they may just have been that they were being a bit cheap and thought we'll scrimp on a bit of material here but yeah. you know it's not they're not sh short short are they no they're just, no no I mean, you know, I, it I, comes I, up like a normal shirt does, which is a bit short in the arms yeah, on him because yeah. you're a very, very tall man. So, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. But, um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you, it's not like you can't wear it with the sleeves down. Um, no. You know, I mean, obviously I wear a lot of jewellery and stuff. So, you know, the sometimes you can find the colours are a bit You tend narrow. not to do the cuffs up, do you? Yeah, on it? but it has these... got double cuff poppers as well. Like there's a popper here and then mm. a popper on the actual, actual cuff. 
So, you know, which most shirts don't have that, do they? It's no, just the no. one on the cuff. So the quality's just, they've just upped it a notch with yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, so I'm very impressed. The only thing I would say about it is when you put it on, because of these on there, sometimes it's a bit <laughs> trying to get it on. <laughs> you do so, sometimes. Yeah, because you catch it funny and then you're like, it's so yeah, trying to get his arm and you can see sometimes he's like yeah. ah, ah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So, and I could see I could see if you were a bit forceful or I don't know a bit half cut or something trying to get out of it you might damage it well I don't, well, I don't know I mean it's, I think it's, getting it's out very of it, you're sturdy all right, aren't you because you just yeah. undress and pop it's, it and... it's just it's you know it's just a consideration when yeah. you're putting it on yeah, yeah. don't yeah. don't rush when you're putting it on <laughs> yeah. basically yeah. yeah if somebody can help you get somebody to help you <laughs> but yeah <laughs> so yes that is the Killstar Death Wish shirt as well I hope you've enjoyed that. I know you've been asking to see more of Heavy Metal Hubby. So <laughs> he does like occasionally appearing on the on the channel. So and we like having him here. So uh, yes, we will hopefully have him on again soon when we can come up with a reason to have him on. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about ladies' clothes and lipsticks and stuff. But <laughs> I could model lipsticks for you. Yeah. <laughs> If you have any ideas of a video that we could do together, <laughs> oh, that's dangerous. Th that's not me putting makeup on him because neither of us wants to do that. So. No, nobody wants to see nobody that. Nobody wants to see that. To see nobody. That. There's there's far too many videos and and photographs of him in dresses as it is. We don't want to start putting makeup on the mix as well. So <laughs> he might look too pretty. So. What do you mean, might? Yeah. <laughs> But yes, I hope you enjoyed that. Please comment down below with any suggestions. Let us know which was your favourite item as well. We'd love to hear from you. Or if you just want to say hi, we love saying hello to all you all. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. And remember people, stay heavy. Stay heavy.